Right, hello folks. Uh, I've got two scopes on the table from Discovery Optics. Arwen contacted me from uh, Discovery to say that it's got two brand new scopes coming out to the market. That's the LHD series. That's a 3 by 12 by 42 scope. Really nice solid scope that one. Side focus and illuminated reticle. And the one on the right, or your left, is the night vision 001. Now that has already come out to the market, but this is the upgraded version which now includes uh, the ability to record what you see through it. Uh, it's also got a laser built in it and it's also got the IR torch built into it as well. So which do we start with? I'll probably start with the one on the right. So that'll be the first video. And that'll be on Discovery Optics NV001. So what you get in the box. First off you get the instruction manual. And we've got the warranty card and the quality to control pass stamp on it. It comes with the 18650 battery, so uh, 3.7 volts. To connect the scope to the rifle, you have the attachment collar. Plus a four nylon inserts to put round the end of the scope to, so you can tighten it up to it so there's no need for any tape. It also comes with two Allen keys, one for the laser and one for tightening up the collar to attach it. Got a USB cable. That's so you can charge it. Now, if you've got an external charger, you can use them. That's what I basically use, but if you've not got one, you can just charge it through that. And then you've got the actual uh, camera itself. Really nice looking thing. More or less based around, say, the One Leaf Commander or the POD 007 as you can see on the front there you've got the IR torch you can wind in and out to uh, zoom in the IR torch and this does work out to 300 metres so to say got the laser on the left hand side and then on the top and the side you've got the adjusting grub screws for windage and elevation The actual battery fits just there. So you take that out, push the battery in head first, and then tighten it back up again. Now that is under spring tension, so you just have to watch it when you screw it back on. You don't want to uh, mess the threads up. So that's on there. You have got the optical focus ring with the red one there and you've also got focusing for your eye at the back just by turning that all your controls are here you've got the big uh, right hand button on the side you power on and off I think you press it one and a half seconds it goes on or off and then you've got six other buttons you've got up, down, left, right you've got your menu button and a lot of these uh, do two functions, so the ones that do two functions, if you keep your finger on it for one and a half seconds, it brings that function on. So you can take pictures with this, you can also take video with it. So that is uh, the update on the original. As I say, the original didn't have the, uh, the built-in IR torch either, or the laser. And on the front you've got the tightening collar. So if you take this right off, it's 
got an inner locking ring there. So that fits there. Uh, screw it on to rifle that way. Put that on your scope with one of the rings and just shove it on like that and then just tighten the collar up and that locks it all in place. So that is the function side of it. Now I will show you the views for it. Uh, problem I had initially, I thought, oh, it's not, it's not working right. That got nothing to do with it. It's to do with my eyesight. So I was looking through it with my eye right up to the front of it there, and I just couldn't get it to focus. And uh, it wasn't the thing that's not focusing. It was my eye because I was too close. So if you need reading glasses, wear them. Or, or just put your eye further away so you can see it. But uh, as you'll see from the uh, the view on the uh, video, it is really clear. You'll also see a rubber weather mount there. Take that back, and you've got your micro SD card. You've got the slot for the actual USB port, and there is another little there's a hole. Right? Looking at that, I'm not sure if it's for a microphone or not. I'm going to have to look at that because, because it's so new. I don't think I can see it on the instructions. Because when I played it back, there was no sound to it. So it might just be one that you can see pictures through a video rather than uh, the sound as well. No, I don't think that whole is for anything because it's not mentioned. Uh, it just says uh, TF card slot USB charging port. It don't mention anything about uh, audio. So I think this is just uh, one that can take videos through. So if you did want to record sound, uh, I'd use your mobile phone or something like that and you record it that way. Using manual, do not look direct at the eye or infrared feel like at close distance or it will cause irreversible damage to the eyes. So you've got a full guide there on what's what. It tells you there about the match control buttons. Like I say, uh, the ones that do double jobs, you just press your finger on it for one half second it will take to the next mode. So, like I say, you've got an instruction book. Uh, because they're brand new to the market, they're not even on the website yet. Uh, so there are no, uh, no, no things to see or no instructions to download. So what I did, I scanned them both to the uh, main scope and the night vision, blew them up so I can see them better. It's my eyesight. Uh, so the last thing on that is the technical parameters or data for the site. So it magnifies 3.57 times. Uh, battery IR complementary wavelength. It's an 8, 850 nm IR. 5 watt. Uh, the ocular lens resolution is uh, 1920 by 1080. The range of the night vision ability is up to 300 meters. And it films at 30 frames per second. So half your books in English, the other half in Chinese. So that is your basics on the Discovery Opt NV001. I'll show you some uh, a montage of the photos I took, the close-ups, and a short video showing you the view through it. And it was mounted to a Optizan scope and that was mounted on my Rita T20 rifle so you can see get a rough idea what you're looking at and it's also the view a scope view so it's a round view you get not a not a window view like you get through the uh, one the commander so I've got to do some uh, field tests with this I'll be doing day shooting night shooting 
uh, and it will be attached to the new Discovery LHD scope and also some other scopes I've got on other rifles so lots coming up with it like I say it's very similar to your parts so I just don't know what the prices are yet but bear in mind it's new to the market and it should be coming out very soon so that my friends is the NV001 unboxing next up is the LHD NV 3x12 by 42 side focus infrared and this is a second focal plane scope so that will be the next unboxing so thanks for watching